Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for the awesome chat, our interview show for awesomecast.net, talking to some awesome people in Pittsburgh, doing some awesome things with the guys here today in Studio Me, the guys behind Studio Me. We're going to be talking to you guys about what's going on here. And it's not just what you see here, what's in this room. There's a, it's an awesome facility uh, uh, in store here. But, of course, please check out everything at awesomecast.net. Subscribe to this and the other show over on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and, of course, the video versions on the YouTube and the Facebook. And then we have some Facebook Lives every once in a while, too, especially Tuesday nights live.awesomecast.net. About 7 p.m. Eastern time, you can join us for some tech talk there. Uh, so, guys, well, first, introduce yourselves, and, and let me know a little bit, let the people know kind of your role here, too. So, my name is Keith Parrish. And my background's in video production. So uh, back in 2007, I started a video company called Parish Digital Video. And, uh, you know, nine years later, we work with everyone from small businesses up to larger names like Kraft Heinz and PPG and Bombardier and uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific uh, and doing a pretty wide variety of projects. Um, everything from marketing videos, TV commercials, testimonials, product shoots, uh, things like that. Well, I'm Joe Leachko. Um, I come from the architectural and marketing background. So I'm an architectural designer that works at a trade show marketing firm. And um, <clears throat> we create experiences and and we um, help companies push out their new products and how we market them and everything. And so I'm in charge of the architecture part of it and the way it's supposed to look as far as a presentation goes and, you know, how big the venue is and everything like that. So and, and I think it's really important to kind of, you know, get you guys backgrounds to see who's putting together this kind of facility um, you're definitely people that, that kind of have a mind for this stuff and see, and I can see, I can tell this is the wish list, right? When we walk around this place. So tell me what is studio me? Uh, studio me is a hub for media production. So we have services for video, photo, and audio. Uh, mainly we have four studios, um, each have a specialized function. So for instance, we have an audio recording room where you can do podcasts and, uh, voiceovers and screen captures and audio editing. Uh, the room that we're in right now is our multi-purpose room. So this room is set up for multi-camera shoots, for uh, full-body photography, uh, full-body videography. Um, and then we have two self-guided rooms. And that's really the, the unique uh, aspect of our, our studio space in that they're all sort of pre-set up for you. So you don't really need to know much about uh, you know using a camera or photography. Uh, everything's sort of preset for you. And you use our Studio Me app. So you just push... You know, at the touch of a button, you push if you're doing interview and you hit record and stop and, you know, everything's worked off of one system, including, you know, teleprompter. Um, so that that's the unique uh, aspect. And then on top of that, uh, we have plenty of rental equipment uh, and then we also have workstations where you can do post-production editing. So it's a nice one-stop shop for everything multimedia, isn't it? Um, so so what, what kind of, uh, where did the idea come from? Joe and I, you know, we, we were... Uh, talking one night and we both sort of decided that we kind of wanted to do something uh, bigger than ourselves. And so we were looking at all sorts of businesses that we could sort of pursue. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we tossed around a couple ideas, but, I, you know, I, I was under the philosophy, we should kind of stick with something that's within uh, our, our knowledge and, you know, what we specialize in. And, you know, obviously with my background in video production, I was like, why, why not create uh, a space that's a little more affordable and more, more, more designed for like modern day media production because all the studio spaces that I've been to are still for traditional uh, productions where you need large spaces and um, that's meant for large equipment with large crews. But nowadays people are doing, you know, much faster, you know, shorter productions, smaller budgets, uh, quicker turnaround times. And there, there's really not a resource out there for that. Um, so we just started, I mean, our, our first design was just, you know, one, like kind of one studio space and then I think like a workstation. And then it just kind of grew from there and, and we kept adding more, more stuff and realized, you know, that there was, there was other, other needs too. And we could kind of make it a, a hub, you know, for, for everything. So. so it kind of worked out because where I come from in, in the world that I'm in at the moment too, um, it's that marketing background. It's like the experience and it's the way this place is built and the colors and what's going on with it and how are we getting content out of there as soon as it's being produced here. So um, it was kind of nice to put us both together. I'm learning a lot from him. He's learned a lot from me. So kind of like a really cool team to have. Um, so we kind of balance everything out. So it's been, it's been, it's been a ride for the yeah. past, just over a year or so. And I love it. It's not just, um, I think it's really cool, especially you know, 
It's not just video because video can be scary for a lot of people, you know, and, and something maybe a little more accessible is podcasting. I got to see a pretty nice podcast room ready to go. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, and you guys have really, uh, I know some of the plans we were talking about you guys have coming up. You mentioned there's an app, the book. It's, it's kind of like a studio sharing as opposed to ride sharing, I guess, is, is what it kind of feels like. Is that kind of what you guys were thinking of doing? You know, we're, we're living in a shared economy, and so there's definitely shared aspects of, of this space. And, uh, you know, a lot of people compare us sort of to the, to the tech shop, but for media production. Um, the difference is it's a free membership, but we're a pay-as-you-go service. So, uh, you know, where where tech shop, you pay a monthly fee and you, you can go in. And um, for those who don't know what tech shop is, it's a space where creators can, can build pretty much anything. And, um, you know, you pay a monthly service and, and you can use all of their tools and equipment and stuff like that. Um, and for us, it's, you know, you, you just go on our, our website. It's very easy. You select, you know, which day you want to use the studio space or which day you want to rent a piece of equipment, pick your time, you uh, pick any a la carte items, and then you, you check out and then you show up here and, you know, it's, what's nice is that there's always like a media professional here that can assist you. And if you get stuck or need some additional sur uh, support, um, you know, you have that person there, uh, and you're also surrounded by other filmmakers and other photographers and other podcasters that, that can all uh, share their resources. And so we have a big cork board out front that we're going to be posting community events and things. And, uh, you know, definitely want to be involved in the freelance community and, uh, you know, have everybody sort of on the same team. And like I said, it's we're, we're in a new age now. It's a shared economy and, and we want to be a part of that. Definitely. And what we're finding out, too, is that <clears throat> since we've kind of been known to the public and everything, um, People are coming out of the woodworks as far as people who need media content mm -hmm. and like the possibilities now have been endless and people are coming in and now realizing that they can create something in a studio space where it's all preset and ready to go for them and there's no intimidation factor anymore. Um, and then like, you know, Keith was talking about our studio managers and our interns are kind of like the training wheels for those who don't understand, you know, and who need to get through the space. So that's been really interesting meeting certain people or actually running into somebody and they talk about like, oh, I need to do a shoot or an interview and everything. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I've, I've got a space for that, you know. So that's been, it's been very interesting in that direction. So, so one of the things, especially when I'm, I'm, I'm doing educational sessions with Podcast Pittsburgh or, or when I'm talking about this kind of stuff, especially like social media podcasting, um, my big philosophy is anybody can do this. Like anybody can get started, anybody can get their message out there, right? Whether it be a company, nonprofit, or individual, right? Um, and it's really cool to see, you know, yeah, we can just take our phones and do it, but this is a really accessible kind of thing. Yeah. And, and an important thing too, and Keith has been teaching me and I, I noticed too, once I, I go on different social media channels and I notice, you know, who stands out mm -hmm. and it's usually the people with more put together videos or the sounds really done well and it's clear and, and you it know, does start with, yeah, anybody can do it, but you always want to be improving. There's a threshold and you, there. It's nice to be, have a little bit of a guide, you know? Yep. So the, the big thing I've noticed is that people quit pretty early on because they, uh, they, they, their initial thought is either one, one of two things. They either think it's going to be super easy. So then they, they set everything up and they shoot it and it doesn't turn out right. So then, then they get discouraged or and, they, and meanwhile, they probably yeah. never shot anything before. Right. right. Yeah. And, and it doesn't look like what they've seen on the internet or, or TV. And, and so they get discouraged and, uh, and they don't quite know what they've done wrong and they can't pinpoint it. Um, but when we say, you know, anybody can do it, the majority, the majority of my shoots, what I do is I, I spend a lot of time setting up the shoot. And then once it's all set up, you know, a lot of times I'm just pushing the record button and, and it's all then at that point on the, the person in front of the camera, uh, you know, the talent. And um, so why not just have a space that's already sort of preset, ready to go, where you can go in and you can be that person touching the button. Have a, full, a foolproof setup. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, uh, like I said, we, we have a studio manager here, too, who can who can come in and, and help you uh, when you need. But for the most part, you know, it's, it's sort of uh, self self-guided. And in a way, you know, on our membership, there's a part where you have to explain or kind of check a box off of uh, what type of skill level you are. So we have from a novice all the way down to a professional or up to a professional. And that could change once you start learning more and more, you know, using our space, being able to frame a shot, you know, getting certain uh, pieces of equipment out and learning them. And then you can kind of kind of tick yourself way up, you know, to the next level. So, you know. And that's there for our studio managers and, and, and staff to kind of tailor their lingo towards you so they can make you understand how to learn this and how to, how to you know, 
use the, the equipment inside the space. So that's kind of a cool part too. You know, it's, we're here to educate as well. So and the other thing I see is uh, a lot of people are concerned about the technical side of it. You know, um, um, so I've seen people buy hundreds of dollars of equipment, you know, in preparation to do this thing and they haven't done the thing yet, you know, and it's like, well, you have to hit record and try one, you know, you don't have to do the best one on the first try. Right. And it's nice that you, you, you do take a lot of that out of the equation for them. It's like, we got the good stuff, you're good to go, let's work on you and your message and you know what you're trying to do, right? I think uh, a big motivation too for people to, to use this space is that I notice a lot of times the reason people in the first place, the, why they want to sort of shoot it themselves is because they're afraid if they hire a professional company and the professional company comes in and, and sets up and they're terrible on camera, they get nervous or whatever, then they're gonna have you know a lot of people sitting there watching them mess up. So it's nice that, the, the room you can go in and you can totally be by yourself or bring a friend who can help you, you know, work the teleprompter or whatever, but it's, you know, an environment that's, that's comfortable. And, and we really want to emphasize that in our space too. So, you know, when you first walk in and you see our lobby, it's, it's supposed to be very welcoming and um, make you feel at ease and relaxed. And we're going to sort of have that library environment where everybody's nice and calm. So you guys, at this point, as of this recording, you guys have been open all week. Yeah. Just over a week. And we were just <laughs> talking a little bit before, uh, before this that you guys already have had a lot of use of the space and, and from very interesting places too, it seems too, like a, a, a good variety, right? Can you speak a little bit to that? Yeah, so um, the podcast room, we've had a company called Abode and they are a real estate company. And so they are doing podcast interviews with people around the community who are doing really awesome pieces as far as um, you know, um, artist uh, installations or tech work or anything like that. So they interview them. So they've been coming in once a week and using that space because before they were um, actually just doing it out of, I think, their their kitchen or their bathroom. I can't remember. Um, I still work out of my basement. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then we've had uh, guys come in and do a hip hop video in, in this actual room. And they liked it so much they've actually come back and they're using it this Saturday. So uh, really cool. I mean, they brought their music in and stuff like that. And they, we kind of put it together for them. So yeah, they brought a red carpet out with a green screen and stuff. What's cool is that even in this very short time, we've seen a big mix of not just not just the the comp like the the types of videos but also the the people have ranged from you know beginners up to professionals and they've all really enjoyed their experience so far uh you know we haven't had many mishaps except uh when that you know uh, the, the bode uh people were the first ones to use our podcast room and that day they decided to jackhammer our parking lot uh, in the back oh, no. the, the first day they came in so that was that was fun. Luckily, they, they stopped jack, jackhammering, and that's a it's a soundproof room, so it's very very quiet. But we happen to also have a vent that goes in the the, the back that it. Um, so you we know, miss that a, a jackhammer and... can still travel through. So, so that was your that was your but, beta test. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it all worked out. You know, they they enjoyed their experience and everything. Yeah, it's been uh it's been interesting. Even people just walking off of the street to come in and check the place out. They're like, I've been waiting for you for a year. Yeah. I've seen all the photos and this empty space that turned into this giant studio facility, and now you're here. And so they come in, they want to learn more. And and it's also not tucked away. Like this is right on is this Penn right Avenue. On Penn Avenue, Avenue? Yeah. yeah, right Penn Avenue where everything's going on here in East Liberty. I was just here for Alpha Lab the other day. Like like it's all it's just blocks from the target guys if you need a landmark <laughs> like four blocks away <laughs> uh but but yeah it, it, it's a very inviting thing and i know especially you know this can be a really scary thing when you get deal with media and this kind of thing the bright colors like i said the bright colors uh, uh, you said somebody somebody mentioned as well i was like it looks just like the renderings that you guys had at the party <laughs> And uh, it does a bit, right? Yeah. Like I felt like I already knew where to go when you were taking me on the tour. Yeah, yeah I think one thing too, to just to market the storefront of it is um, making it simple to understand because you know it might take us a few seconds to do the elevator pitch to people to let them know. But if you're coming off the street, you know we have the vinyl logos out there to talk about video, photo, and audio. So you already have a kind of a good idea of what's going on once you see that stuff. And when you see Media Made Easy as our tagline under Studio Me and everything, um, that just kind of lets people know that we're here because that's it's kind of hard when you can't show these giant studios. You know, they're all and, behind walls. So and being in a retail space was like from the very beginning. That was one of um, one of the things that we really wanted to push for uh, because number one, we you know again wanted it to feel, you know have that shared feel and and have people uh, you know passersby be curious and actually look in and, and see you know oh this isn't so bad. It's not like a big warehouse or 
traditional studio space and it's something different. Um, and then, you know, the other thing too is, is convenience. We wanted to be convenient because I know a lot of studio spaces, um, that, that I've used in the past are, are either hard to get to or sort of tucked away somewhere. And you, you, like a warehouse. Yeah. They have like stairs. A, like a, right. And yeah. a friend of a friend has to tell you about it so that, you know, it's like, like what it is or where it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which can be, which can be cool sometimes. And that, you know, they serve their purpose, but we just want to be different. You know, we want to sort of create something that people haven't seen before. And as far as, you know, kind of fitting this place out too, to make it seem very professional at the same time. Um, and people have already been asking us if this has been a franchise and we just bought one from them or something. So <laughs> that's kind of a cool compl- uh, you know, compliment. Yeah, we one over on the other side of the city, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, know. yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. You know, <laughs> think about that. We've, already, so. we've had some requests already. Yeah, we oh, have. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. south and, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, it, it makes sense in, the, in, in this day and age. So, of course, this room is ready to go. It's functioning. you got people doing stuff in here. Uh, real quick, tell me a little bit. We mentioned the podcast room, but uh, you have a couple other all-purpose rooms and, and some cool stuff that's going to be coming up for that too. So this is the multi-purpose room that we're in now. Uh, this is roughly 27 feet wide or 27 feet long by 16 and a half feet wide. And this is for a multi-purpose. So you want to do um, dual camera shoots or multi-camera shoots, uh, something more geared toward an interview like this because there's more room for it. Um, setting scenes up. If you are in yoga and you want to show different positions and everything like that, there's a lot of room for you. And then behind us here, there are a bunch of uh, green, gray, blue, and white uh, paper backdrops. And these are all on a motor where you pull these down and we're sitting on you know the white right now and you can change out your different backgrounds. So, um, And then this is also geared towards those who may know what they're doing and want to bring their own equipment with them so they can. A nice blank canvas for them. Yep, yep. So a nice controlled environment for them. Um, and then also, I mean, they can rent from us as well and bring, you know, we have everything for them if they just want to show up. So, yeah. Uh, another big selling point, every uh, studio space has a dressing room. Yes. Which drove me nuts too when in other spaces where you're always looking for a place to have your your talent or models or whoever's in, in the shoot go get ready. And so we have really nice dressing rooms with Hollywood style mirrors with the lighting all around and um, all the know, amenities nice. are inside there. Yep. Yeah. So we have steamers and, you know, things like that. Yeah. So awesome. Tell me about the, the, the automated room coming up. Sure. Uh, so our good friend Chris from from Realbotics uh, is helping us develop a, an application that's going to run off a computer that will be set up in there. Um, and it'll be connected to the camera or we'll have a teleprompter and then you'll have a, a screen too where you can see yourself. Uh, and for now it'll be a keyboard. Eventually we're going to go touch screen, but you'll be able to go in and just sort of pick all your presets. And we're trying to make it as easy to use as, you know, using an app on your iPhone. So, uh, you'd go in there and, uh, just sort of choose your selections, pick your colored backdrop and, and just go from there and hit record and stop everything from, from one location. And that's more of a step-by-step process as far as the development going is going. So, um, you know, it's in use now. You can use the studio space and everything. Um, it will be used off of a keyboard um, that you point at the screen. So it's like a wireless keyboard mouse. You point at the screen. You can touch the buttons on the actual screen itself um, on the interface to then, you know, actuate the lights and the camera and everything like that. But then it will be in an iPad uh, soon enough. So. Yeah, and it does video and photo. And then the backdrops are, you can do white, black, or green. And with the green screen, you can, uh, in editing, replace that with, with anything. Awesome. So, uh, of course, where can people check things out? Uh, um, of course, you know, you're located right here in East Liberty. Uh, where, where can you find you online and get more information? Yeah, so you can go on Facebook at Studio Me. Um, you can go to studioMe.me. That's our website. You can go to face or uh, to Twitter. Uh, studio me underscore LLC, Snapchat, uh, studio me underscore LLC and Instagram. And <clears> so a lot of Instagram. We're, we're open 8, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So stop by anytime for a tour. Monday through our Saturday. managers are, are friendly and they'd be happy to show you around. So, yep. Yeah, come on by. Monday to Saturday. Awesome. Go yeah. check it out. This is a really cool space. Uh, if you get a chance to check out the space, just take a tour just to see what they have here. Maybe it'll spark some imagination for you. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. And, of course, check out all the conversations over at awesomecast.net. We're getting out and about with these interviews, and uh, we hope you're enjoying a little bit of a different uh, 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 flavor to, to them and, and, and atmosphere and everything. So check them out. Let us know. Is there anybody that we need to talk to that we're not getting out to? Uh, let us know at uh, awesomecast on the Twitter or over on the Facebook page as well. Thank you to my awesome guests in their awesome studio. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.